Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and the IC Oswald Street Facebook page and today my friends we're going on a walk around Oswald Street which is my hometown and there's a little route that me and my friends have done over the years that as a tongue-in-cheek thing we call it the Oswald Street Three Peaks Challenge. So without further ado let's go and look at some rural town scenery and well take on the Three Peaks Challenge of Oswald Street. So this isn't really meant to be taken too seriously, it's just an excuse to show you a load of footage and scenery from around town and the countryside. That is hill number one, Shelf Bank. Hill number two and three are that mound of trees known as the Coppy and the long flat hill which is the hill fort. This is our starting point, we'll talk about the routes just a little bit later and it's basically the little map sculpture thing here at Wilfred Owen Green or the village green as I like to call it. So we're starting off from there and we're walking straight through the park area and up shelf bank. As you'll see in a moment this isn't as if we're going up huge mountains or anything and well again it's just a, a nice excuse and opportunity to show you some of the lovely places and sites of Oswestry Street nestled away in the fields and general countryside of Shropshire. So you can see here as the camera pans around, that big mound of trees there is the copy or the coppice to give it its official title and behind that is the Iron Age hill fort. Now this wasn't meant to be any sort of wild time trial challenge, certainly not the day that we were filming this on. And basically that's because as you can see from the route here, you have to cross over some of the main roads in town. So obviously, even if you were trying to do a time trial, you've got to be sensible around the roads and not be running in front of traffic to shave a few seconds off. So yeah, and it took us uh, an hour and a half almost to walk less than three and a half miles, which is absolutely ludicrous. So we drop down from Shelf Bank, go under the railway bridge and then up through Jasmine Gardens here. And this is another key key sort of moment that I really like to point out to people when I'm out and about walking about how rural Oswestry is that here we're walking past houses and we literally go through a gate directly into this this is the first site that uh, you come to when you go up onto the copy from the Jasmine Garden side and you can see there like you know you just walk out of an urban area into the middle of well proper rural places so this is the view from the copy just across Gattaca playing field that was to the left hand side there and now we're zooming in on the hill fort which really makes up the bulk of the the excitement of this walk you can see we've got some uh, horse prints there uh, horseshoe prints whatever you want to call them and again just looking across the Gattaca, being manicured and uh, having the grass cut. Always good to see almost the hypnotic effect of seeing the lines mowed into the grass there, ready for the cricket uh, pitch and all the rest of it. Changing over from the football to the cricket pitch at that point. And here we are arriving at Old Oswestry Street Hillfort. And when I say Old Oswestry, Street, we're talking about near enough 3,000 years ago that this thing was uh, under creation. And it is an absolutely spectacular object of curiosity and interest of its own accord before you consider the 3,000 years of history that go with it. I mean, the sheer amount of earthworks and effort that had to go into creating something like this is, uh, it's just incredible. The amount of mounds and different things and the fact it's preserved so well. It's one of the, I mean, it's always been said, I assume it's true, that it's one of the best preserved hill forts in Europe. And you can certainly believe that when you're walking around it and having a look at all of the mounds and rings of fortification and stuff incredible to think that it's been here and now 3,000 years later little Dan Brown's wandering around having the time of his life and taking a telescope up here to look at the stars at night and stuff and again what a view this is from the side of the hill fort just illustrating how absolutely beautiful and rural Shropshire is and again you can probably probably grasp why I love it so much uh, living in and around Oswestry Street in Shropshire and Wales for all of my life and you can probably also grasp why I like living on a narrowboat when you get so much of this that you can just move around more up for a week or two here and then move off to a different area to enjoy. Oh something of curiosity I want to show you here this is an iconic thing that I've got memories going back to like way back as a, a wee little boy and um, this little windmill how much does that seem that it should be out in a dusty sort of flat part of America with just a, a creak as it goes around slowly in a very, very slight breeze? Uh, yeah, that's always the image it's uh, brought up to me. 
So, as we look back towards the town of Oswestry, about to walk back into the town and head back to Wilfred Owen Green, I suppose I'll wrap this video up and say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this look around my hometown. Please do feel free to subscribe on YouTube, like the Facebook page. You'll find loads of links in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. You'll also find a link to my very short book, just a few stories about growing up in Oswestry and a few thoughts on the town. Just a little bit of fun, really. So please check that out. Check the links in the description and until the next time my friends have an absolutely fantastic day keep it interesting keep it shropshire worthy keep it boat worthy and of course my friends farewell <laughs>